Let's do it. Let's do it. I did something new. Oh my god. It's turning out. feel it rush. Sipping on Hawaiian punch. Please the sides feel it rush. shoes are because <laughs> i put everything in here when i was peeing in my closet i think i'm just gonna use these they're not my favorite though maybe that's what we can do today we could organize my closet i need an energy drink or like a coffee i've been really liking having an energy drink before a workout it just feels lighter than a coffee i don't know and it gives me just as much caffeine let's see the kim kardashian yes i have one final one in the back <laughs> Oh, they, there's one more. <laughs> Love you, Alani. But here's my outfit. Sorry, it's so dark, but I'm wearing this set active set with my girl supporting girls cropped velour set or hoodie, my Bottega bag, and Nike shoes. Here's to yeah! standstill traffic. Wow! Why is it so bad? Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. I wish I could just go on the side of the road and just pass everyone. Like, why are we going so slow? We're ready to go! Let's get big. <laughs> Wait, big? I wanna get big? I thought I'm getting so skinny! Let's get strong. <laughs> Let's get strong. <laughs> exercises but leg day complete now it's time for the cold plunge I finished leg day got my bathing suit now let's head to the cold plunge hello I think it's the lighting. Oh, na, 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 wait till I get my money right. I'm literally gonna need like 10 sources of income. No, my boyfriend's gonna need 10 sources of income for the life that I want. Like, what the f What the f <laughs> Um. That was a much needed cold plunge, honestly. Like, I feel like my body's so cold <laughs> from it. I like warmed up in the sauna a bit, but you know. But today I don't have very much. Today's uh, Thursday. I have no calls, no anything, really. I just have to like catch up with some emails and stuff with my assistant. But other than that, today I really wanna focus on putting the closet together. Ah! I don't know if my wallpaper is gonna come in time. Hopefully it comes by today and we can like put it up. It'll be so much fun. But yeah, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm kind of getting my sparkle back. I don't know what it is. Like I feel like I just thrive in colorful, fun environments. And that's why I wanna like paint my room and like paint the guest bedroom and you know, make my car pink. I literally ordered pink seat covers. Like I feel like I thrive in colorful environments and my environments affect me a lot. And like as stupid as that is, like. I don't know, it's just the way that it is. I saw something on TikTok and it said, why is it so bright? Girl, focus on my face. I saw something on TikTok and it said, people always say that men are visual creatures when it's the opposite. Women are visual creatures and we make things pretty and we're like the gatherers and we make the house a home. Men are not visual creatures. Like, yeah, they'll be like, oh, you know, she has a fat ass, whatever, she's pretty. But men don't really care. For them, they're hunters and they love the chase of the hunt. So like, you know, you could be the most beautiful girl in the world and sometimes, you know, you're always like, oh, why did he, you know, there's this gorgeous girl and she wants to, you know, get married and like have all these plans and blah, 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 blah. But men just like the chase. And like, that's why you're always like, I see these girls and they want a relationship and these guys can never commit. And then they go to another girl and then they commit to her right away. Like literally Austin Butler, literally. But I don't know where I was going with this little rant, but the point of my story is women are visual creatures. You basically have to watch this guy's video but he's talking about how there's this part of the brain called the hippocampus and it's about long-term memory women use it to memorize like colors and aesthetic things and men use it for directions like chasing things like hunting but it's like an actual scientific thing and you know growing up how your mom would be like you know clean your room it's because it actually like disturbs women and it would never be my dad to say clean my room it was always my mom my mom would like always try you know clean the kitchen before cooking and stuff like that it's because it's 
our environment and women genuinely love being around beautiful things and it makes us feel at peace when we're around beautiful things. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but there's science behind it. <laughs> but yeah, to the men point that I was talking about, like how they're hunters, they will always love the chase. And that's why, I don't know, I feel like sometimes I would like shoot my shot, but it's actually in the TikTok video that it was talk I was talking about, there's this animal, it's called the opossum and it's the only, the only reason why this bitch is not in, in, extinct holy shit the only reason why this bitch is not in extinct is because when the hunter goes up to it it just lies dead and pretends to be dead and then the hunter loses interest like that's literally how men are like they literally lose interest when the hunt isn't exciting so if you're trying to bag a man this isn't toxic okay just keep this in the back of your head you know it's wild like national geographic like human nature they want the chase and it's more exciting for them to have the chase and you know people aren't like hanging you know these easy animals up on their walls you know and like hunters they like hang on the you know whatever they hang up with the ones that were harder and that's how you'll beg a man if you're hard to get not hard to, i mean yes but don't play hard to get bitch be hard to get be busy you know schedule shit in have respect for yourself that's when the best relationships come i swear to god when i met my boyfriend i wasn't even looking for a relationship like i was fully just in my own zone i would never give him the time of day like i we had to schedule dates like a week or two in advance like i swear to god this is like how it happened and like he's seen how hard it is to date me and like the chase of it all like not that I tried to do this shit I genuinely was just focusing on myself but now I feel like he's like hunted me like this is so f up that I'm kind of saying this but whatever I'm just gonna say it girl because I know all of y'all like some of y'all are like I don't know how the f do you bag a man I genuinely feel like this is actually human nature and like just shit to like keep in the back of your mind I don't care how toxic it is like I'll just whatever I'll just say it. but if you're genuinely hard to get not playing hard to get but genuinely hard to get you know the chase is there I don't know I felt like it was a very like slow burn I feel like a lot of the times you know with these like one-off one month like situationships it's always like you know everything's fast 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 but now that I'm thinking of it the chase was never there you know I feel like like when we like were moving so slow and he was just like such a gentleman about things and like you know it's like he the chase is there i don't know <laughs> i don't know how i got to this rant but random food for thought <laughs> <laughs> she's so excited to see me but this is what my closet looks like right now it's empty but i love the way that it looks i think it'll look so good in photos and videos and stuff like that also look at what my boyfriend got me <laughs> i just thought it was funny and it like matches perfectly but i want to fill this up and the wallpaper i just checked on my amazon account is going to come today by 10 p.m so i might try and put the wallpaper up here but yeah you want to start cleaning up i'm going to start off by cleaning up this mess and putting the drawers back in and yeah Now, I think I want to start filling it up and I really want to go through and be strategic about where I put everything because I think I have way too many fucking shoes. Like I need it. I don't even wear them all. So I need to organize what shoes I want to keep, what shoes I want to give away. Here's the bags, but yeah, it's the shoes for me, girl. Like I don't know how I'm going to fit in all these shoes. I think I'm more of a purse girl. Like I don't understand how I got so many shoes there. I think I had like a phase where I was a shoe girl, got way too fucking many. And now we have to get rid of some. <laughs> But a shoe can just like complete an outfit. But here we go. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> okay, let's be strategic. I know for sure I want to be putting the bags on the top. I'm thinking like my nicer bags on the very top. Bags, bags. And then I'm going to try and do shoes the bottom two rows. That's it. We got this. <laughs> Before I get started, I just forgot I have to do some girl talk ad reads. You haven't already, then make sure you're following my podcast. Podcast girl talk it's on my main channel or you can listen to it on any bird that you listen to podcasts like spotify apple podcast here we go Ooh, we got some good sponsors in today's podcast we got liquid iv like oh my god i'm so excited <laughs> we got lumi we got ship station like girl if you haven't tuned into the podcast make sure that you do if you're ever bored because always there every single wednesday i don't know what's wrong with me my foot keeps falling asleep oh i hate it it hurts so bad <laughs> okay Let's load her up. something new 
I did kind of like a pink section right here, which I really like. Here, I think I wanna do all sparkly. That's why I'm like, should I bring this down here? I was able to organize all my bags like sideways, which I kind of like more because I could see it as opposed to before it would just like lay down. Also, this is kind of my prized possession. And I know that a lot of you would be like, Adeline, literally what bag is this? I bought this bag from the Kardashian closet. Wait, how do I show you? Like there's a story behind this bag. I bought it on the Kardashian's closet. It's the literal exact bag that Kylie had. I mean, it, it's, it's Kylie's bag. And like inside it had like literally like her foundation and lipstick. And I was like, oh my God, and now you mean Kylie. But I'll insert screenshots of her wearing it. But I just think that's so crazy that I'm like, I have something that she once wore all the time. So, and I've always wanted to get one of these bags like this. And I know people are gonna be like, it's literally like a black, a uh, white box, but I think it's cute, okay? But yeah, I put it right here. I also have this side more colorful. This is like my more neutral side. I put like blacks, beiges. There's a, I don't know if I should move this like white and silver. I feel like it kind of, I don't know how I feel about it, but this is what it's looking like so far. And then all of my clothes. Almost the whole bathroom is clean except for the shoes. Let's get into these shoes. I really need to get rid of a lot. Oh, I was looking for my running shoes this morning. <sighs> all the fucking Orans. Jesus Christ, here we go. <laughs> are my prized possessions. I got them in Paris and they're the Sophia Richie pink bedazzled shoes that she wore after her wedding. These are so hard to get. I literally ruined the shit out of them, but if there's one pair of shoes that I would steal or if the house was on fire, I would steal these shoes. No, I'd probably take a bag, but not these shoes. But <laughs> Dad sandals. She's filling up quick. I also kind of wanted to organize it like matching shoes and purses because there's some bags that I bought just to match with shoes, specifically like this red Chanel bag and these red Amina Muadis. I don't know. I want to display them together. I feel like it would look more like a boutique as opposed to an actual closet. Also, I bought these Gucci sneakers the longest time ago. I bought it for a meet and greet and I've worn it a couple times. Like I've got a good amount of use for them, but I don't know why, like girl, why did I buy this? She was iconic for a couple looks, but I'm like, girl, why did I? Like, why didn't I just get a dupe? I swear, Forever 21 did a dupe. Like, why didn't I just get the dupe? Like, girl, she needs to be displayed. She needs to be sold, actually. That's why she needs to be done. Okay, I got a rid of a good amount of shoes. Now I'm just gonna put my sandals. I used to display my sandals, but I feel like, you know, we love the sandals, but I don't know. I think that they would just be cuter tucked away in this corner because all of the Birkin bait just to not get a Birkin in store. <laughs> I have problems, like, who needs this many of the exact same fucking shoe that are literally, they're so uncomfortable. I dropped this little baby. This is like also one of my favorite purchases from Paris because she's just a little teeny tiny baby. And I got this like clear lip balm and it fits perfectly. Look at me. <laughs> it's the little things in life. Others. Okay, I moved everything down and now we have a little more room if we ever want to expand. Ta-da! Scary looking girl. <laughs> oh? Scary. Andre's here, Scary. I want to show him my closet. Come Scary. here! Scary. Come Scary. here! My foot's asleep and it hurts so bad. Look at it. I was, to to my, 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 I was trying to go to the gym and then I like pulled in the parking lot because I don't normally go to the gym and I saw my sneaky link walk from his car into the gym. And I <laughs> but he it. literally knows that his sneaky link works out at four and it's literally four right now. Four. It's so gorgeous. But Andre might and I might film a podcast together with my new room. I was hoping that I would get the wallpaper for up top before, but we can always do it a little bit later. I hate how my hair looks right now, so I'm gonna shower really quick. And then Andre and I are gonna film the podcast. I also should change out of this gym clothes because it's literally worked out enough. Although this shirt is way too small, but it's the only one that I had. Um, one thing that I swear has helped my hair so much is this little like brush. I just put in some shampoo and it feels good and it's really good for your scalp. Like it feels like a massage. Like remember back in the day, did you ever have those like scalp massages? <laughs> Even my boyfriend uses this, like has him using it on his hair sometimes, but it's supposed to help with hair growth and I swear it actually helps. I got it on Amazon, I think it's like five bucks. I linked it on my storefront. But yeah, I feel like that, like massaging my scalp and also hair oiling has helped my hair so much. I did like a whole video on my hair oiling routine. Literally make it myself and it's all like natural ingredients. I don't trust anyone. With all the added shit and everything, I literally get natural ingredients. So hair oiling video, hopefully coming soon. If not, it might have come out. I just wanna brush my teeth. Whenever I shower, I feel like I need to brush my teeth. It's literally 5 p.m. and it's like pitch blackout. I thought it's like time to go to bed. <laughs> Most people.
people like get glam and like do their makeup before they film the podcast. I'm literally doing my night routine. I'm literally adding my fucking moisturizer. Should we do a podcast with face masks? Do I have any? I might have used them all. That would be so funny if we did a podcast with face masks. Oh, feels so good to just moisturize and just be clean. We just filmed a podcast. Andre's going to the gym for a second workout of the day. Day six, seven, five hard. <laughs> that sounds <Yeah>. awful. Um. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot that I even had this. We should definitely put this up. I got a bunch of these lights. I just got them on Amazon. I got them in all different sizes and they're battery operated lights. They look like this. Oh. How does it turn on? Does it come with the batteries? Oh, you have to charge it. Oh shit, I should probably charge them all. We got the light. I think it's supposed to be motion sensor, but I'm not 100% sure. We got two little stickies and oh, this one comes with the charger. Excuse me, I need a charge. Let's charge this one first. We'll do a couple at a time. Oh, why is she blurry? I love this vanity, but one thing that's annoying about it is see how there's two outlets. I don't know if you could see. There's also like little USBs, but you can't use the USBs because these cover it. Ah, I wish that they put like outlets on one side and USBs on the other. I also got some hoodies and stuff for my boyfriend. I wanted to give it to him. He's on call though right now. I got this charger and I'm charging five of them right now. It's so annoying because I have one, two, three, four four, five, six, and I have five white ones and three black ones. It's annoying me so much. I'm like, damn, I'm gonna have to mix the black and white. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I can paint this or something to make me feel a little bit better, but, or maybe we just, I don't know, we'll figure it out what we are gonna do with all the lights, but I wanna put all the lights on the top of the shelves. I don't know, what do you think? Oh, I messed up. You want your favorite food? Your favorite food. Oh. Open it. Boom. <laughs> 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 They're just I basics. It. I feel like you need more basics. No, like I love basics. From it's... Talentless. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I got you a large I shirt and then medium bottoms. Ooh, I like them a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you, baby. Thank of course. You. Not my finest, but we are eating some spaghetti and meatballs from Whole Foods. <laughs> it was like one of those pre made meals. And I have some Parmesan. Parmigiano! <gasps> There's mold! No! Damn, do we have any other cheese? I don't know if we even have a cheese grater. Uh-oh. This is the only cheese grater that I have. We can get some pepper jack cheese. This is the best that we're gonna get. Or do you think I could just have the Parmesan and just not have the moldy parts? Or is that gross? No. <laughs> It's a meatball. Mmm, this is good. I just love spaghetti. Mmm. <laughs> if you're good, you can have a meatball. You want a meatball? I'll give you a teeny tiny piece. At the end, I'll give it to you at the end. <laughs> oh my god, also, I wanted to show you because I met up with my friend Jada yesterday and she was just in Hawaii and I was like, girl, first of all, you need to send me all your recommendations because I really good Hawaii. But there's this whole like Hello Kitty section in Hawaii and she was like, do you want anything? And of course I was like, yes, bitch, what? So she got me this little bag. It says Hawaii and it has Hello Kitty on it. And she also got me, well, I asked her for this. I, I vowed her for it. These little Hello Kitty keychains and what they literally say Hawaii on them. Like, how cute are they? Oh my god. Blue's obsessed. She loves these. What is this? What is this? They're my little Hello Kitties. <laughs> I'm so excited. I kind of want to put these like on my bags. Like I don't care how cheesy it is or how tacky I make it. Like bags are bags and they're meant to be used. Like I don't really give a f Like I'm going to use my f bag. So I have these and I might put them on my bags. Another thing I was so excited for. Look at this little tumbler. <gasps> It says Hawaii, Aloha, Aloha State. Like, oh my God, it's so cute. It's like Hello Kitty in France. <laughs> And then she got me these extra. She just got me this. She got me this Hello Kitty and Friends um, hand cream trio. I literally almost bought this at um, Home Goods or what was it? Home Goods or maybe it was TJ Maxx, but it's exciting. Eee! I'm gonna put these in all my purses. And then this little keychain. I will probably be putting this on my keychain. Like, how cute is that? It's literally just a Hawaii Hello Kitty. Ah! But Jada, I love you. And I'm so excited to use it. And hopefully Hawaii soon because I miss it. I haven't gone in so long. Like when I was little, I wanted to babysit my cousins because my cousins like they're lawyers, so they're really rich. And they would go to Hawaii every year. And I always wanted to babysit them because they always would bring their babysitter, which was my older cousin. Um, and she would always go to Hawaii with them. But I don't care what anyone says, I fing love this shit. You do whatever you want with your bags, I'll do whatever the fuck I want with mine. And like the screen. 
That's so cute. I think I got this one on like AliExpress or something like that. But look how cute this little baby is. Oh. <laughs> I think they had this in the Hawaii gift shop. Oh my god. But I got it before I knew about my friend being in Hawaii. So the wallpaper, it literally says arriving today by 10 p.m. It isn't even out for delivery yet. So I'm like, I wonder if it'll still be coming today. It's already 721. I don't know. I might have to end the vlog tomorrow. I just want to do it right now. You know, when you're like, you're getting so excited to like decorate. I'm like in the mood to do it. I wish it would come right now, but hopefully it comes by 10. We'll decorate tonight. If not, let's decorate tomorrow. <laughs> I think that the package is here. It's the next day, by the way. It's already so dark. What time is it? Oh, it's five. <laughs> but I saw him look on the security camera that he's here. <laughs> package. Thank you. I don't know if I think I can see me, but <laughs> we got it. Oh my god, the house is probably so messy, don't look at it, but ooh, 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 we got the package. Where are my scissors? I was getting pretty bored because it's a Friday. It was more of like a chill day. I like checked some emails. I got some work done. I went to lunch with Sierra and our friend Brooke. And then I also had to take Blue to the vet because I don't know if you guys saw on my um, Snapchat, but Blue, when I was at Christmas, Blue was just like playing with the family and she fell on her head and one of her teeth fell out. One of her adult teeth. So that's why I was just concerned. I took her to the vet once we got home. Well, like emailed the day that it happened because I was just like nervous and she's my baby. And they were like, as long as she's not bleeding excessively and she's acting normal, she's eating fine. Like I would just take her in when, you know, you're at the vet or at home next, like back in Orange County. So I took her to the vet at the beginning or like the end of December once we got home and they they just did like a checkup. They said that she looks fine and nothing looks wrong. <laughs> But yeah, basically, I just took that as, you know, she's fine, peace of mind, it felt so much better. And last night, out of nowhere, she starts like lip licking her nose and drooling a lot. And I'm just like a super overthinker. You guys know, she, Blue is like literally my baby. Come here. So yeah, she was just like licking her nose a lot and she was drooling a lot. And then she, normally she like cuddles with us and she was um, sleeping on the, the bottom of the bed, like not even on the bed, like on the chair. And I was like, you're acting weird. Someone was acting weird last night. It was freaking me out. And I also took an edible, so I was also overthinking. So I took her to the vet. I made a super quick appointment today and they did another little checkup. They said that she looks completely fine and if anything, they gave me some antibiotics to make sure that she doesn't get any infection. So I got some antibiotics, gave it to her today. She's two times a day, but yeah, I don't know. It was scary. I'm like, you know, you never want anything bad to happen to your baby, but this is the peel and stick wallpaper. It's supposed to be good. Not leave any marks behind. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool. Oh my god. It's kind of like a watercolor design. That's kind of cool. I was going between this and a green one because the Beverly Hills Hotel is all pink and then they have the green leaf wallpaper, which is so iconic. And I thought it'd be so fun for the videos and like the background of my videos. Because I think of my makeup room as kind of like a set, you know? I, I do my makeup in there. I do my TikToks. I film like get ready with me. So I want to make it like as fun looking as possible. Possible. Before it was so boring and white. I feel like everyone has the Ikea white drawer. So painted in pink. We're going to add this to the top. But woo, I'm so excited. And hopefully it's easy to apply. But yeah, I wasn't going to tell anyone. But I wanted to surprise my boyfriend. I got these white peel and stick kitchen makeover thing. Because I saw my friend Meg did it on her kitchen. I thought it looked really good. I don't know. I love the kitchen. It's my favorite thing about the house. And it's what sold me on the house. But I feel like it would be so cute if it had like a white back splash and I know you guys are like Adeline you're insane like it looks fine the way that it is I just wanted to see what it looked like okay so I got these they were on Amazon <laughs> yes and I'm obsessed with Ariana's new song I'm literally like I don't even play any other music I just replay that song yes and I'm gonna put this on the top. I'm gonna see if we have a ladder so I can really get up top there because this is what I have. I literally have like a step stool, but I'm just like not gonna be able to reach. I think we have a ladder that's bigger than this. Aha! A ladder! <laughs> we have one. I have no idea how to carry it upstairs. All of our Christmas stuff is put away. This isn't so bad. Okay, okay, it's not so bad. Okay, I did it. I think where should we start? Let's start maybe at this corner right here. Oh my god. Are you supposed to like flatten it? Is that the safest? <laughs> okay, let's do one at a time. And I brought my scissors. Where did I put my scissors? I think that we might have to measure it and cut it. It's a little too long. I think that'll be the easiest. Measure it and cut it that way. Got my measuring tape. So from 
the base to the ceiling, it's about 15 inches. So I think I'll do, it's a little less than 15 inches. So I'm gonna do 15, cause I'd rather have more than cut too much off. And we can go from there. I was looking on my phone what it would look like on camera and it looks so good. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna put the top on because when I film my like TikToks, I like to put, this is what I use by the way. I use this little like phone stand because I feel like when I just put my phone against something, like the audio is messed up. Whereas if I have it here, then it's able to pick up audio. You know what I mean? I don't know. So I got one of these things on Amazon because it is so embarrassing to me. I hate iPhone like tripods or iPhone selfies, but this is like less embarrassing. It's this little like teeny tiny thing you would go like this and then you can put it in your purse and then it unravels like this but yeah this is how i film my tiktoks and this is how i was looking at how it would look how i was looking how i look do i even know how to speak english i don't fucking know but i think i'm gonna put one layer of wallpaper like this way i think it'll look great this is what i did for my old room i painted the ceiling and you don't realize nobody ever paints the ceiling right you don't realize that it makes a huge difference it makes it look like its own tiny area and it it like honestly elongates the ceilings it makes the ceilings look higher and the space feels a lot warmer and I don't know bigger so I'm excited I'm gonna put a whole roll this is like the part that I cut off so this is what I did on the way up and then this is I'm gonna do the whole thing I don't know I'm gonna do the rest of this I'm like can I use this somehow like somewhere <laughs> could, he, could use it I don't know tying the room together because I have so much extra I still have a little bit left on this roll but I'm gonna use this because I think these are around 20 feet and I use around 13 ish so yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Say this shit with your chest. Beautiful you are. I could cry this song all day. Something for TikTok. this little corner pocket she's pretty much done i just facetimed i feel like the gays are just so good at <laughs> like interior design so i facetimed my one friend jake he's so good at interior design i'm like do you hate the fact that it's on the ceiling like does it bother you i feel like i liked it more without it on the ceiling he's like it doesn't i don't hate it so i'm gonna put it up and if i hate it i'll take it down it'll take two seconds to tear down but yeah all i have to do is this corner and then we're done oh and then the lights and then we're done i just hope that i have enough this is the last that i have this tiny wallpaper oh it's enough. Ah! It's not a huge corner or anything. This is literally all that I have. Ah! <laughs> Let's measure her and cut her down. <laughs> Woo! We're done. Okay, so now when I film, this is what it looks like. Ta-da! Ah! Okay, let me know what you think. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Should I take off the ceiling? What do we think? Alright, oh my god, now I can put up the lights! Everything's falling into place! I'm gonna put the big ones on these three. Let's get to it! These I just got on Amazon. It's literally a magnet, so it's easy to take off and take down and charge and stuff like that. I don't know if I should put it in the middle or the top, like right here, in the center. What do most people do? I feel like when I see closets, they're always near the front. What do you think? Or the center? I'm gonna put it in the center and pray. <laughs> okay, do we love it? Do we hate it? Let's look at it far away. Yeah, I think the center. Or do you think the front? What do you think? Let's do this one. No, it needs to be in the front. F I need to change the other one. Wait, let's compare what they look like and see what I like more. Um, like what looks more expensive? It looks the same. It looks the same. I'm like overthinking. After looking at it for a long time, I'm gonna do the center. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's do it. Whatever. <laughs> These bitches are stuck. Oh, hell no. Girl, what am I gonna do? She's stuck, stuck. Like, I don't know if I can take it off. What kind of sticker is this? Whatever, I'm too lazy to fix it. It's gonna stay like that for now. What do we think? I will fix that one later. This is what it looks like. Holy shit, it looks so amazing. And I was worried that the black and white would throw me off, but you can't even tell that they're black and white lights. The only thing that is bothering me is this one is forward. Let me try and fix it really quick. Ah! I just took off a ton of paint, but we can fix it. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> I'll just paint over it. It's fine. Uh oh, <laughs> it took off so much paint. We'll fix it tomorrow. Do not fret. Okay, I taped it up for now. But wait, let me move the product. Ta -da! Here is my closet. The only thing is, I'm just gonna fix the little paint that I got taken off right there. But other than that, I love it. Oh my god, I just want to see what it looks like. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so excited. This is like just my dream closet. You know, I've had so many, I've moved so many times, I've had so many rooms and redecorated so many times, but I can actually say that this is like my childhood dream. When I was little, I was obsessed with the color pink. It would be, I was pink and then my sister was yellow and I would always make fun of her for yellow. It would bite me in the ass because I ended up liking yellow and my sister would make fun of me because I would make fun of her. But ever since I was a kid, I was obsessed with pink and now I have this perfect like Barbie pink closet and it just feels so unreal like the fact that it's just my background and I'm just looking at it right now and I just look over here and then it's just there and I'm like ah it's just insane it doesn't even feel real but oh my god it's crazy the vision that you make in your head can come to real life bitch you can can do it because I didn't come up with a lot like I wasn't rich growing up and I would literally as a child I would manifest I would pretend to do interviews I would pretend to do my own YouTube videos and I pretend to be famous and I would like literally talk to myself like some people had imaginary friends I would literally talk to myself and pretend I was famous and like interview myself I was insane but it low-key worked out for me because I ended up manifesting and I manifested this career and I manifested like everything that I have in my life bitch manifesting if you haven't gotten into it yet you need to I'm like girl if you're watching my channel, you probably believe in it, but it's crazy. I keep looking at it, and I'm like, ah, I can't believe it's real. Ah, okay. I think my boyfriend is going to kill me because he wants to go to dinner. He's really hungry, and I was like, can I just finish this? So finally finished, but I'll wrap up the video after dinner. I just realized for date night, this would be perfect for this outfit because it's all hearts. Look at this little Chanel heart. Ah, this is going to be so cute. The hearts with the hearts. Are you kidding me? That's so cute. I don't know, should I wear my hair up? Because you won't really see it. Or I could just tuck my hair behind my ear like that. But I realized I forgot to end this video. It's a couple days later and look, I need to show you, I just made this rug. Whoa, she loves it so much. She loved it. Ruggie? You love the new ruggy? She loves it. I think she likes it because I made this one a little bit thicker so it's more fluffy than this one. And it's crazy. Like, I feel like I improved so much in the last one. So, this is my first rug I've ever made. Can you move your little bum bum? I want to show the rug. Move your little bum bum one second. But this is what my new rug looks like. And I even went into the details of like cutting the corners and adding more details in the shaving. But I don't know. I feel like I've improved so much and I want to do more. How fun is that? You like that? How fun would it be to just have like a bunch? of like little rugs like everywhere <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog here's to the first vlog in this new closet i'm so excited whenever i come in here now i just like like this is my safe space this is my happy place just being in my closet i could just like meditate in here it's the best thing ever i really want to it's not finished completely this wall needs some work done i'm ordering this um neon sign and it says need money for birkin <laughs> Chris Jenner has an inner closet and I'm like this is so perfect and it's like pink it's from this company neon mfg and they've done custom neon um signs for me before and I'm so excited about this one because I don't know it's like I could have got like something like my name like at Adeline Morin but I don't want my space to feel like work and I don't want it to feel like oh tag me at Adeline Morin or find me at Adeline Morin I want it to like actually genuinely be stuff that I really enjoy and love so I don't know that's I'm so excited about it ah. <laughs> because we actually do need more money for Birkins. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today's tip of the day goes to Positive in Pink on Instagram. You just tag me. That's how you become tip of the day or merch shot of the day. I know we haven't done any merch drops in the past couple of months, but I promise, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully soon. Girl Supporting Girls is just in a little hiatus right now, and we're just figuring out what we want to do with our new manufacturers. But their tip of the day says, not all positive changes will feel positive in the beginning. Isn't that so right? When you lose an ex-boyfriend, or you lose a best friend like obviously everything feels so negative and then you, nobody feels good when losing someone in your life but at the end of the day you know maybe a year from now or five years from now or ten years from now you'll be like you know what maybe that person was good for me in that period of time in my life and not forever and I think that's something really beautiful to just think about but I hope you guys enjoyed and here's some more vlogs in 2024 <laughs> I love you let me know what you think about the closet and I'll see you guys in the next one I'm always here same place same time love you guys you want it you want it i know you want it want it sides feel it rush sipping on hawaiian punch please the sides feel it rush sipping on hawaiian punch yeah.